Hey, so I was just headed down to the shop to go pick up Corbin and got a call that they're headed my way in a backhoe. So Grandpa and Corbin are in a backhoe headed by my place. Uh, apparently the combine got a flat tire. A corn stalk punched through the back, one of the back tires on it, so it's got a flat. Harvesting stopped for a second. We gotta go yank a tire off a burnt down combine. Did you know that we have a burnt down combine? I'll explain more about that in another video. But we're heading up there now. I'm gonna follow them and grab Corbin when I'm done, but we're gonna go pull the tire off quick. second change there. <laughs> I don't think we'd be quite fast enough for NASCAR though. <laughs> it burnt down two years ago and actually it was November 13th of 2017. Uh, it's gonna go to a scrap yard but tonight it worked out good. We got a spare tire.
was jammed and it started going sideways on us. Ideally, we would have loved to do this, done this with the jacket and much safer. When it started leading us, is when we quit. Um, it's not the safest way, but it's also not the unsafest way either. The way we did it. So it looks like everything's gonna work out. But we were originally trying with the jack. Um, there's just no nice way to do it in the field. It's too frozen. We can't. We can't do any plowing. We had the ground so soft enough that the jack started to lean over with a bunch of blocking and cribbing and everything. Take it to the elevator because we don't have any on-site storage. So, or a dryer. Or some a dryer. Some people will have a, a dryer and then they have oh, really? one bin. Yep. So then they'll bring it here to so save the drying costs. Here. Oh, okay. Has the moisture gotten any better on the corner? Is it not? no? It's not going to because it's frozen yeah. now, right? Yeah. So, what do you? Is moisture on corn? You want it the same as beans? You want it to be down to the 15? Yeah, same? 15, and then you don't get a paper drying. Okay. elevator right now to uh, dump this load of grain and uh, it's kind of fun we've been coming to this elevator ever since I was a kid so I remember being here as a kid and so kind of cool 20 years later I'm still pulling trucks in here and uh, yeah kind of a lot of fun all right so now for people who don't know what is an elevator and what do they do here okay so an elevator is a place that stores grain some bigger farms will have what they call on-site storage, so they'll have their own bins that look a lot like this. Um, we do not have any on-site storage, so everything comes here to the elevator. So first thing we do, I've already been here today a couple times, so I don't got to uh, talk to anybody, but first thing we're gonna do, run across the scale, they're gonna weigh the semi and what they call the loaded weight, or the, uh, the truck loaded. We're gonna get one weight ticket. The mirror, they're gonna hold out the ticket, and that's the... Um, yep. A couple of the guys that are here actually remember this truck when my grandpa drove it and uh, um, they comment on it all the time that 20 years ago when my grandpa was alive they remember loading this truck and seeing this truck in the uh, um, in the uh, elevator here when he holds a ticket up let yeah, me know yeah. I can't see right all now. right got it he's got it.
So in this cold weather, the tailgate doesn't like to always shut. So God's <laughs> it needs a little truck driving. It needs a little bit of, of encouragement. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so this is usually we walk back to the what they uh, call the weigh room and grab our grain slip. It's so cold out, they have to heat the grain up to get an accurate reading. So it's at 32 degrees, so it takes them about 10, 15 minutes. Well, right now they're just, I'll get the tickets tomorrow. They're stockpiling the tickets for us and uh, I'll get them later, but yeah, 30, when it's probably negative one, two degrees outside right now, um, to heat the corn up to 32, it takes a little while. Now we're done for the night. 